Now with reaction from council members on both sides of that vote. We know it was a five to four vote. We've got KOSI's Teresa Sardina. She's live in the studio. She's got more on that angle. Teresa? Hey, Logan and Hunter. That was a great interview with Kevin Falker. And yes, we're getting a lot of reaction. And as mentioned, it was a long day yesterday of nearly 10 hours from discussing the ordinance to public comment. And the council members in favor say the goal is to have the unhoused go from encampments to shelter, then housing. That does pass five to four. San Diego City Council voted to pass the unsafe camping ordinance Tuesday, making it illegal to camp on public property within two blocks of schools, some parks, near waterways and along trolley tracks, even when shelter options are available. Yes, for council members Stephen Whitburn, Joe LaCava, Jennifer Campbell, Marnie Von Wilpert, Raul Campillo. No, for Sean Elo Rivera, Kent Lee. Many of the questions and concerns I have shared regarding this ordinance have not been adequately addressed. Vivian Moreno and Monica Montgomery Stepp. If we ask someone, do they want shelter, and then they say yes, and then we don't have it, how that erodes the trust I think that we're trying to build. The ordinance authored by council member Stephen Whitburn. This is a common sense measure uh, and at the end of the day it will help us protect the public and health and safety of all San Diegans. We heard from Republicans, Democrats uh, and everybody in between at public comment uh, and from across the aisle uh, folks were supportive of doing something to improve the situation that we all see with our own two eyes has gotten worse and worse. We have to do something. We have to take action. And that's what we did yesterday. Receiving full support by Mayor Todd Gloria. It's your choice. Well, I, I think you do it through the additional service offerings that are provided, plus the consequences. Some members of the council sharing with KUSI Wednesday. A no vote for council president Sean Elo yet. Rivera. Uh, His response, in part, you. we all agree more must be done to address our homelessness crisis. However, I could not support the unauthorized camping ordinance because of its potential negative impacts on communities and vulnerable populations, especially seniors and people with disabilities. Beyond the laws that are already on the books. Today's discussion says something that we can all agree on. Being unhoused and unsheltered is inherently unsafe. Joe LaCava's yes vote. He says when the draft ordinance was first introduced, he had a lot of concerns about the shelter capacity, shelter locations, operations, and the role of the enforcement. Adding he voted to support the ordinance after securing commitments for quarterly reports on shelters, enforcement actions, citations, abatements, hospital discharges, shelter unsafe conditions. Deacon Jim Vargas, president and CEO of Father Joe's Villages, says they'll continue to increase services, in part adequately expanding the number and types of shelters, providing wraparound services and opening safe campgrounds for people experiencing homelessness is critical. We must also invest in compassionate street outreach solutions. With the Regional Task Force on Homelessness reporting a 22% increase in homelessness over the last year, including among seniors and women, we need more accessible housing, shelter options, and services now. The council says the unsafe sleeping ordinance will go into effect 30 days after the first safe sleeping site opens. There are two sites established under this law in San Diego, and the first site is expected to open July 1st, and that's in Golden Hill at 20th and B, which is the city's maintenance yard. Logan, we'll have more coming up at 5. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out, Teresa. Thank you.